Kalblasis is normally a knowledge as the person who created ballet as we know it today, the vocabulary of ballet, better known as Charles Blasis or Charles Blasis, whichever country he lived in. Blasis was not just an excellent dancer, but was very, very handsome. He had to retire very, very, very early because of an injury. He actually sort of twisted his foot on the stage of Drury Lane and unfortunately could not recover. So that convinced him that, you know, he had to go into teaching. And the very first book he wrote is dated 18. 20, and it goes by the French name of the Traité élémentaire théorique et pratique de l'art de la danse, which translates briefly into the elementary and practical treatise of the art of dancing. A fundamental book because it describes all the positions, all the steps, as we practically know them to be today. There are some fantastic descriptions by Carlo Blasis about the pirouette. It's all about having that perfect equilibrium. And before we try some of these descriptions from Carlo Blasis, I want to just let Marcelino do some pirouettes that he would do on a daily basis at the end of class so that you can see how well he spins. OK, so can we just have some turns in seconds and a nice big pull in at the end? Enjoy yourself. <laughs> OK, here we go. Ready? Because he turned so well that I have asked him if he would be a guinea pig to try something that is written in, in Carlo Blasis's Code of Tepsichore, and he said he would try it. And I read it to him, and he burst out laughing when I read it the first time. So, at the time, the normal way to turn was with the leg in second, but of course it wouldn't have been at the height that you just turned at. It would have been much lower at a 45 degree. Uh, or they would have turned with their foot in coup de pied. Do you want to just have a whiz? Just try and see if you can do a very low, and that really does give you a lot of speed, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or um, they would do it on attitude, which brings me to the fact that uh, uh, Carlo Blasis also introduced the attitude, which was Piccadilly, Eros. Okay. Yes, that sort of thing. We oui. yes, all right, okay. So that would have been the normal way of turning at the time, but Carlo Blasis prided himself with the fact that he was the first to introduce pirouettes in perfect equilibrium in an arabesque. Can you just take an arabesque with your arms? Just a normal... Yes, very good. I was actually going to ask you to just show the arabesque. Can't stop him turning. <laughs> OK, so he says he was able to execute three to four turns a la seconde with your leg in second and then placed his body into arabesque, into this third arabesque with the palms up. So four in second, three or four, three or four, and then place your body into the arabesque and, and, and remain in that position at the end on demi point. Good luck. Oh, yes. <laughs> Slowly with the arms. It's okay. 